Every exotic thing you could think of is in this pond right here. We got three Malaysian box turtles in here. They're very hard to get to eat. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> What is going on, Kafaros? Welcome back to another video here. Today is a video that I should have done a while ago. I've gotten a few pets in the past few weeks. By pets, I mean fish, even a piglet. And I get a lot of questions, where is this, where is that? Because I don't film every video, I don't mention everything I have. So today's video is pretty much everything I have. From pigs to fish to turtles, everything. So without further ado, I'm hopping right on into today's title and thumbnail. And we're gonna start with my 160 gallon African cichlid tank right behind me here. All these cichlids right here are from Lake Tanganyika in Africa, and uh, we're gonna feed all the fish too as we go through them all. I did this video uh, a few, maybe month, two months ago, and uh, I've got some stuff since, so I figured why not do another one, but watch these guys just chow on uh, cichlid pellets. I also feed them like bloodworms sometimes, those cubed frozen bloodworms, but uh, they're gonna eat some pellets right now. That's that. Cichlids, they'll just keep on eating, they don't stop. What the weird thing is about these fish too is as you feed them, they don't swallow the pellets. They'll have one in their mouth, they push it to the side, almost as if a female would when they have the babies because they keep the live babies inside their mouth and then they'll release them. But they keep all the pellets in their mouth and like, and then they keep eating more and more until I stop feeding, then they go down to the bottom and they like digest it. It's kind of funny. All right, next tank over here is a 65 gallon flower horn tank. This is George. A beautiful, beautiful fish. I bought this fish for actually $500. At Mark's Ark, I just couldn't resist buying him. And he's extremely, the reason why I bought him is because when I first walked up to him, I just went like this. And you see how he just, he just follows your finger, no matter like where you go. See that? The personality on every flower horn pretty much is incredible. But watch this, he's gonna bite my, I, he will bite my finger, that's the thing. But look at that, come on. Crazy aggressive. And I have the water lower in his tank than all the others because his noggin, which is called a cock, K-O-K. -K. I have it lower because if I feed him like this, like that, you'll see when he sees it. If that was all the way up to the top right here, he'd be hitting his head on this glass. So that's why I keep the water lower in his fish tank. All right, on to the 90 gallon. This is my favorite aquarium in this room at least. Bookforabrand.com. Hey. New hats available and much more stuff. Top link in the description. Anyway, stop with the plug-in. 90 gallon fish tank right here. It's got tiger barbs. It's got albino tiger barbs. It's got glow fish. It's got angel fish. Quarry cats from tiny to big. All sorts of tetras right there. Colombian tetras. I mean, we've got every iridescent catfish. There's three iridescents right here. Just chilling. And then my favorite that I got in this tank, there's 11 clown loaches. Clown loaches are getting big. I bought them very small. And if you've been here for a while, you've probably seen like all these things bought and put into these fish tanks. So what I'm gonna do now is feed the fish because I wanna feed everything just to give you guys a quick look. I also do feed these guys like these little tiny like sinking pellets, blood worms as well. But I'm just going on the easy diet today and that is just flakes. There you go. All right, quick and easy feed right there. This right here is Luna's Aquarium, the white beta fish that you see in the back corner there. Uh, it's joined by some neon tetras, those little blue shiny uh, striped fish back there, as well as glowing giant Daniels. Um, those are swimming around the top. As you can see, a uh, baby mini crayfish back there too. Last but not least, fish tank what? Oh wait, no, we have a beta fish over there as well. You can see it right there, but that's our male beta fish. Anyway, our frozen goldfish right here, which has been in the freezer for a bit now because last time he tried to feed the blob catfish is what this is right here. He didn't want to eat, he just spit it out. So we're gonna try that again, but while this is defrosting, why don't I show you the piglets, Lulu and Bubba. Bubba, where are you? Oh, they're both right here. <laughs> All right, so we got Bubba, the little new, this is the, this is the new, oh, oh yes, yes. This That's my the, baby. This is uh, Davis's piglet. This is a new male. He needs to get neutered because he does like Lulu. Yeah. Let's just say that. Luz is over here, big mama. This is my girl right here. Um, she's been around for a while now, probably almost a year. They all do this little screeching noise. She's so camera shy. For real. <laughs> to this day. Look at that though. Ooh. Such a beautiful animal. I mean, these people, a lot of people when I tell them I have pigs, are like, why do you have a pig? Especially when you live in a house like this. I'm not on a farm or anything, although I just talked to a realtor today to get some land. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't hear that either. I'm giving off a lot of hints this video, what's going on in my life. Anyway, these are the two piglets that run around the house all the time. But uh, these are the best animals I've ever bought. A lot of people say, hey, why do you have pigs? I mean, pigs are dirty. First of all, pigs are not, you'd be surprised. A big pig on a barn might be like rolling in mud and stuff. These guys are just like dogs. They grew up around dogs and they become a dog pretty much. Just 
look like a, well, they are a pig, but they look like a pig. Because they are a pig. I don't yeah. know what I'm trying to say here. Anyway, we got two pet piglets, and now the goldfish should be defrosted. And we should try to feed the bobcatfish. Oh, yeah. Nice fat goldfish. Blobfish, do you want to eat today? It's never a guarantee with him. I'm still trying to get him to learn. They're very hard to get to eat. Like, I'm telling you, look at that. I mean, he hasn't eaten in like three, four days. And watch, look at, look at, what is that? What? What is that? So weird. He eats the head, or doesn't eat it at all, and I'll just tease him until, and then he'll eat it, see? He has a huge mouth. One day, this is like a series on this channel. One day we're gonna get this thing to eat. It's incredible. Yeah, a lot of people in the last video were saying, hey, this goldfish might be too big for the blob catfish. It's not. You should see what blob catfish eat. They can eat a fish the size of themselves. Dead serious. They can eat a fish the size of themselves and they'll turn it inside their stomach. So, sorry to tell you guys, it's not happening. It's not happening again. Mm. It's a series on this channel. One day, this will happen. I'm gonna keep freezing this goldfish because I don't like to waste fish until he eats it. All right, that's the blob catfish. Take a quick one more look at him putting it back in the freezer. All right, let's head outside and show you guys what we got going on out there because we got a lot of ponds if you're not familiar. First thing you do when you walk outside is your first initial look is to the left here where this pool pond is. And this pool pond, as you know of last video, all of our turtles from that enclosure over here, this little Cajun enclosure right here, all of them got taken out of there, which is much smaller, and put into this big old place right here. I took them out of a smaller place and put them into a bigger place. Plants over there, um, rocks right here, and I'm sure by the time you see this, there's a lamp sticking off the wall right there that they can heat themselves with. But that right there is the pool pond. It's got turtles. It's got two yellow belly turtles in there, one painted and one albino. Red ear slider. But I gotta, to be honest, oh, I see one. All right, here's a little tiny yellow belly. You can see why the name is yellow belly. Just a little baby. He'll grow a lot. Um, I see the painted as well, so let me try to get the painted real quick. Look at the colors on that turtle. Isn't that incredible? And you can see why those are called painted as well, so. Oh, jeez, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding, I swear that was not planned. That's so bad, did you slip? Yes. All right, there you go, turtle. Feel free. That's the turtle pool pond for you. Swing on over to here, and boom, baby, this is the Aquascape pond we just built recently, about a few days ago. That right there is the koi pond. And we're gonna get some fish for this here shortly. They're being shipped though, so just make sure you hit the subscribe button, click, turn your post notifications on so you don't miss out when those fish do arrive. But I don't know, if, whoa, hey. hey. I don't know if they are koi fish or goldfish, because I know I'm getting goldfish for this and koi fish. Anyway, just have the notifications on. On to the next two ponds and then another pool pond. So, out here in the backyard, this is what my whole entire channel started with, and few you even know this, Mollies and platies. So these mollies are like hand trained. I can just put my hand and look at them all come to my hand, see? So I'll pick them up. These fish right here, see the colors? Incredible. Like, this is one of my favorite fish, if not my favorite fish. And you might be saying, why are these little tiny colorful fish your favorite fish? And it's because, look how fat that guy is. Look how fat he is. Can't even move. Definitely pregnant right there. That's a platy. So, I like these fish so much because they started my whole entire channel. I, I made a, my first little tiny pond in the corner. I put these fish in it and that was that. And from there, I just made YouTube videos and here I am today. So this right here is the backyard mini pond. And then on over to here, past the mini pond, you keep walking on the same path, you run into the big pond. Now this big pond would actually look exactly, let me find a rock. The whole entire bottom looked like that about two days ago. I came in here, lowered all the water, took the thump and the gar out, put them in a, a holding bin, got the pressure cleaner, sprayed all these rocks down, and then filled it back up, and now look how clean it is again. You gotta do that every once in a while. Deep down into the bottom of this pond, there's four jets down there at the bottom, which kicks up all the muck that'll be settled in uh, static water. There's a jet up top, there's two things coming off the spillway bowl right here. There's a jet from a UV pump, and there's a waterfall. There is beyond enough oxygen in this pond, and along with oxygen comes flow. There's like stupid flow in here. We also have a 10 pound largemouth bass in this pond. 
And there's another bass coming shortly, so be ready for that as well. Wow, I'm giving away a lot of hints. A gar is in here as well. Beautiful, beautiful spotted gar. It's such a cool looking fish. Now along over to here. I know, this is a small backyard to have all this stuff going on, isn't it? And that is my red tail. Well, exotic catfish pond, I would say. There's hybrids, there's red tails, there's nightfish, there's peacocks, there's albino placos, there's marbled hybrid catfish. Every exotic thing you could think of is in this pond right here. Everything. Look at him. Come check this little guy out. That is a beautiful beta fish. That's that, you really saw everything. The piglets, all the turtles, hey wait. The turtles are actually right here. We got three Malaysian box turtles in here. It was really cold last night. Went into like the upper 40s, so I had to take them in. This is their little enclosure inside just for the night. I am gonna pick them up and put them right into the gated off part of the backyard. They have two ponds. They can always move through the big pond and the mini pond. So they're, they're really loving life. You saw everything. You saw all the tanks. You saw the backyard ponds. I've got today's positive comment shout out and that goes out to Jenny today. I'm new watching you, but I'm literally hooked. Amazing content. Appreciate that, Jenny.